Hey everybody, today I'm going to be showing you different ways of saying drunk in English. Je vais vous montrer différentes façons que nous capable dire sous en anglais. I am drunk. You are drunk. Everybody is drunk. <laughs> Welcome back. As I've just said, I am currently talking about soup, drunk in English. You say drunk, to be drunk. I am drunk. You are drunk. Everybody is drunk. I'm talking about drunk. Soup en créole. Drunk. This adjective is used to describe someone who has had too much to drink and probably can't talk in a normal way. Ça a utilisé pour parler de un monde qui vraiment tellement sous qui pas même qu'à contrôler tête. You say drunk. This is the common way to say that someone drank too much. C'est une façon qui très commun que mon yo utilise pour dire mon boit en pile alcool. You say drunk. This is the first one. What about the second one? The second one is intoxicated. Intoxicated is a formal way to say that someone has had too much to drink. Intoxicated, c'est une façon formelle pour dire mon boit trop alcool. Intoxicated, ou bien on capable dire mon prend trop de drogue tout. You say intoxicated. You are intoxicated. This is the second way of saying su in English. You say drunk and you say intoxicated is the formal way. Ça c'est form formel en façon très formelle pour dire qu'on monte su en anglais. Under the influence. Under the influence is the third way of saying someone is drunk. It's also a formal way to say someone is over the limit. And it is used in a legal context. Under the influence, son façon pour dire mon nan sou. Mais son façon formelle, même j'ai avec intoxicated, pour dire mon nan que li sou, ou bien li dépasser limite nan sa que la prend, nan drogue, ou bien nan boisson que la boire. So, ou utilise l'on contexte légal, ou bien judiciaire, etc. You say under the influence. Good. The next is tipsy. This expression is not very strong means you have only consumed a little alcohol. Expression ça qui c'est tipsy, li pa on expression qui très fort, mais li vle di que ou juste consommer un petit alcool. Même j'aime mon yo kon di ah, ou commencer gagare, you are tipsy. Tipsy, ça veut dire ou un petit goût d'alcool là et puis peut-être ou commencer à virer, eh bien mon yo di you are tipsy. Tipsy is the fourth way of saying you are drunk. Tipsy Let's go now to the fourth. On allait avec une quatrième façon que vous êtes capable de dire au monde sous en anglais. C'est tanked or tank top. Tanked, tank top. Tanked or tank top is an informal way to say someone is drunk. Tanked ou bien tank top, là, c'est une façon informelle pour dire au monde que les sous. Ah, ou bien nous avons un monde là et vous dites, ah, ou comment c'est perdu, on fait, oui. Ça, c'est d'une manière informelle ou dire au monde ou sous. Ok? Ou sou. Tanked, you are tanked or you are tanked up. Let me say, you are drunk, intoxicated. This is the formal way. Under the influence, formal way. And it is used in an illegal context to say someone is drunk. And tipsy, this expression is not very strong and means you have only consumed a little alcohol. And next is tanked or tanked up very informal way to say someone is drunk. And the next way to say someone is drunk is wasted. Wasted is another way to say someone is drunk. And this means to be extremely intoxicated from the conception of alcohol. Et ça signifie ou vraiment, ou vraiment ivre, intoxicated, ou vraiment ivre dans la consommation d'alcool que vous même faire. Ou vraiment ding ding. Okay, and now you say wasted, wasted. 
And now, let's say other ways that someone who is very, very, very drunk. I know I'll do a lot of fashion on moon, vraiment, vraiment sou. Le moun sa vraiment, vraiment sou. Comment on capable de dire ça? You can say, slushed, 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 slushed. You say, emerged, emerged, slushed, emerged, plastered, and you say, shit faced. Slushed, emerged, Plastered, shit faced. Let me tell you what they mean. Let's begin by slushed. When you say someone is, what you say? Lord Zomun, kisa odimunna. Slushed. If you are slushed, you are basically very, very drunk. You are slushed. Ou vrema sou, ou eve, ou gaga na alcohol. Slushed. Are you slushed? Are you slushed? No, me, I'm not slushed. Slushed. And after slash, we have hammered, 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 hammered. This means you are very drunk. Slashed, you are basically very drunk. Hammered, you are very drunk. What about plastered? This term basically means you are extremely drunk. Plastered term ça signifie ou extrêmement ou à ouï là ou soit à ouï là ou à pondi ou ou à l'air. On prend une gueule là pour marcher comme ça. So now you're plastered. You are plastered. Very, extremely drunk. Extremely. You are plastered. Plastered. And this informal way, this is an informal way. Shade faced. An informal way. Some façon informal. Li pa bon. E sou pa alez avek moun nan pou dil. Li kapap vexe moun nan. Li kapap fwase moun nan. Sou di moun nan. Shit face. La ka yon ouri le sa kaka kleren. Men kaka kleren son nom. Son nom. Mi se son kaka kleren. Ou kalifye mi se kom ou kaka kleren. Men la, amyen le moun nan rive nan etak kaka kleren. Sa vle di nan etak kote li vreman vreman soua. Now you say shit faced. Shit faced. They slightly offensive is mainly used in USA and means to be very drunk. Sa utilize ou Zetaz Uni. Sa son tem ki kapab ofanse moun. Men li di ke ou vreman, vreman sou. Ok, you've been learning different ways of saying drunk in English. Ou so ta pren different fason ke ou ka di sou an angle. Lò ou an moun sou, ki jan pou di li sou. Lè moun nan, se bouel ki fon ti goute. Li fon ti goute, pi tet li avye ou di moun sa tepsi. You are tepsi. Men de fason ki pi formel pou di moun nan li sou, Sa ou pa deranje l, sa ou pa di la en, e ben ou di moun nan intoxicated. You are intoxicated or under the influence. Me tem ki plus popile a ou di, drunk. The most popular term is drunk. You are drunk. And the formal ways to say someone is drunk, you say intoxicated or under the influence. And is when someone just tastes a quantity of alcohol, now you say you're tipsy. You might be tipsy. So if you want to use informal ways to say that someone is drunk, you say tanked or tanked up. Okay? Tanked or tanked up. So if you want to say that someone is extremely intoxicated, you say rested. Someone vraiment, vraiment eve ou deal rested. And then for all the other, all the other words, this, 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 you use them for very or extremely drunk. Très, très sou. Like slushed. Hammered, plastered, shade faced, which is an offensive way of saying drunk. I love you so much and catch you in another, a better video. I'm drunk. <laughs> I'm not. Bye.